Welcome back to my channel. If you happen to have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe, support me and enable the bell button too. Now, moving away from the gas giants appear the ice giants. And today, we will be exploring one of them, Uranus. Uranus was visible to the naked eye, but it happened to be that it was never recognized as a planet by our ancient stargazers which could have been due to the planet's dimness and slow orbit. So it was generally mistaken for a star, but not for long. From a garden owned by a British astronomer, Sir William Herschel, who was observing the night sky on 13th March 1781 in England with his telescope, noticed that one star seemed different. And within a year of observations, Sir William Herschel realized the star followed a planetary orbit. This is how Uranus was declared as a planet. William Herschel tried but was unsuccessful to name his discovery George E. M. Siddes after King George III. Finally, named in a traditional way, the name Uranus came from the Greek god of the sky. Uranus, one of the two ice giants known in our solar system, is a very cold, windy ball which formed 4.5 billion years ago. It is assumed likely that it formed closer to the Sun and later moved to the outer solar system where it takes its place in our solar system as the seventh planet from the Sun. About 19.8 astronomical units away from the Sun, having a radius of 25,362 kilometers, Uranus is four times wider than Earth, with the third largest diameter in our solar system, surrounded by 13 faint rings and 27 small moons. It rotates at a nearly 90 degree angle from the plane of its orbit. Nearly 80% of its mass is made up of a fluid mix of water, methane and ammonia ice. But these are not the characteristics that make Uranus the Uranus we know. It is actually known for its dramatic tilt. Scientists predict that this unusual orientation might be due to a collision size with a planet-sized body or several small bodies soon after it was formed. Another theory suggests though the gravitational tugging by the large moon's mass over the course of two million years. Uranus may have wobbled to such an extent that it was pulled on its side. This dramatic tilt gives rise to extreme seasons that last for about 20 years. The sun shines directly over each pole, leaving the other half of the planet to experience a long, dark and frigid winter. A Uranian day is approximately 17 hours. And a Uranian year is about the same as about 84 years on Earth. Its internal structure is made up of a mantle of water, ammonia and methane ices, as well as a core of iron and magnesium silicate. Near the core, it heats up to 4,982 degrees Celsius. The, as an ice giant, it doesn't have a true surface. The planet is basically swirling fluids. Even though it is not the most distant from the sun, Uranus breaks the record for the planet with the coldest atmosphere in the solar system. Uranus's planetary atmosphere is approximately minus 153 degrees Celsius. Its atmospheric composition is mostly hydrogen and helium with a small amount of methane and traces of water and ammonia. In Voyager's 2's flyby, it observed a great dark spot and a small dark spot in 1986. More recent observations reveal that Uranus exhibits dynamic clouds, including rapidly changing bright features. 
wind speeds can reach up to 900 km per hour on Uranus. Winds at the equator of Uranus blow in the reverse direction of the planet's rotation, but closer to the pole. Winds shift to a prograde direction, following with the Uranus's rotation. Uranus's blue-green color actually comes from methane gas in its atmosphere. The sunlight passes through the atmosphere and is reflected back out by the Uranian cloud tops. The methane gas absorbs a red portion of the light, resulting in a blue-green color. Uranus has two main sets of rings. The inner system consists of nine rings which is mostly made up of narrow, dark grey rings. Then there are two outer rings. The innermost one is reddish in colour that appears to be like dusty rings. And the outer ring is blue like Saturn's F ring. Uranus has a very unusual, irregularly shaped magnetosphere. The magnetic field is typically in alignment with the planet's rotation, but Uranus's magnetic field is tipped over. The magnetic axis is tilted over 60 degrees to the planet's axis of rotation and is also offset from the center of the planet by one third of the planet's radius. Auroras on Uranus are not in line with the poles due to the lopsided magnetic field. The magnetosphere tail behind Uranus opposite the Sun extends into space for millions of miles. Its magnetic field lines are twisted by Uranus's sideway rotation into a long corkscrew shape. Uranus has 27 known moons. The fascinating thing about Uranus's moons are that they are each unique from other moons in the solar system, as these Uranian moons have been named for characters from the works of William Shakespeare and Alexandra Pope. All of Uranus's inner moons appear to be roughly half water ice and half rock. The composition of the outer moons remains unknown, but they seem likely to be captured asteroids. The only and one spacecraft that visited Uranus is no other than Voyager 2, that was launched by NASA on 20th August 1977 that are sent to make an incredible space exploration to the outer planets and now continues its relentless journey in the interstellar space. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Till then, stay tuned to my channel till the next video is released.